and it is some life-changing and life-altering information for you guys out there of all ages even to you youths that still to this day don't get you know what's going on behind the scenes never and I mean never develop this mindset of wanting to see the good in people and what do I mean by this well that's an easy question because people are living within a worldly narrative that serves self and not others and they also hide behind this fake good and fake nice work movement to actually conceal who they truly are within their hearts and minds and that is not of God but yet some people still to this day want to choose to see the good in these said people don't do it to yourself because you're going to leave yourselves short every time my current mindset is this stop seeing the good in people and start seeing who, tr uh, who people truly are within the heart and mind and don't even allow the fake nice and fake good work movement within people to actually fool you into being deceived by thinking that they are anything but because it's smoke and mirrors assuming of course they're biblical spiritual don't serve self they don't have a pride and ego nor false images to maintain then I would say spiritually discern these realists that are genuinely of a good heart and a sober mind discern them from the wolves in sheep's clothing and keep these people at arm's length for now until you actually in fact grow to know them within time because like I said even these particular said people that you keep at arm's length there's a high probability that they could potentially change on you and switch up on you later on you know is it guaranteed no but there is a high probability it could happen I've seen it all too many times especially by those that claim to be followers of God followers of Jesus that claim to be picking up the cross spiritually day in day out from the moment they wake up to the moment they go to bed at night only to then switch up on my ass when I challenge them within such a painful way and that is technically my I guess thanks you know if you want to call it that they hated what I challenged them with and they come back at me with their nonsense so in other words stop seeing the good in people I'm referring to the youths here you youth for guys and again vice versa this goes to you women and the guys as well toward the guys even stop seeing the good in people because like I said not everyone that claims to be overly good and overly nice are actually in fact who they claim to be it's nothing more than an act to actually in fact conceal who they truly are within the heart and mind you know this because the truth is even those that you genuinely thought were on your side their true colors begin to show when they can no longer no longer control you nor manipulate you their true colors will show trust me they will go from pretending to be nice pretending to be good and if you pay close attention you'll see the masks begin to fall off them I'm telling you now 
And the beautiful thing about this is that they are the ones that are going to live to regret everything that's ever been said and done towards me and anybody else for that matter that have actually in fact been called and pried away from this satanic cult movement that's deliberately constructed to like I say fail people and play people like a fiddle and this is why I don't partake within the system itself like many people do many people laugh and joke about it now thinking that they're actually winning you know by getting these pathetic short little victory wins and upper hands here but it's all for nothing and to no prevail because sooner or later it's all going to be stripped away from them and they are the ones going to be left royally pissed off that they wasted their own time by sticking their overgrown noses within other people's business it is what it is common sense so once again to you guys and to you females as well stop seeing the good in people and start seeing people who um, start seeing people even for who they truly are because I'm telling you now like it's the same with these young naive boys and girls of today's society that claim to just want friends and want to do activities and all of these things I mean if you want to live like a child that's absolutely fine I don't have anything against it but if you want to grow and evolve age like a fine wine with or without a wife in the long run then you're going to have to sacrifice the idea of wanting to live like a child whether you like it or not I have and I still do to this day and I don't plan on changing that for no one because the more you get older the more you see through the whole bullshit system for what it really is and the more you see through people as a matter of fact even behind the fake nice and the fake woke you know approaches that they take in life you know to actually in fact conceal who they truly are towards you it's the same with people that pretend to be fake happy and nice to your face yeah but you know deep down within your heart and mind you know it that they are the ones that pretty much chat shit behind your back to boost their own pride and ego and yet they're trying to fool me by putting on these fake you know smiles and all of this I mean who you who are you actually fooling because I can guarantee you it's not me you're fooling your own consciences for one and the more you continue going down this path the more you're gonna royally screw up your life by treating me the way that you do even behind the fake nice and the fake good approaches that you wear that I can quite literally see through common sense and this is why I've stopped seeing the good within a lot of people and be um, began to see them for who they truly are because people aren't actually in fact who they claim to be and I'm sharing this video to help the youths of today to stop making this mistake of wanting to see the good in people because trust me, I've been there. And where did it get me other than wasted time? Or what did it get me as a matter of fact? Other than wasted time. Stolen from, in here and in here. Trampled on. Lied to. It got me taken for granted. What? All because I chose to want to see the good in people. And the more I took this route, the more they showed me who they truly are. And I'm like, you know what, fuck this. Why should I start seeing the good in people when, as a matter of fact, all I see in people are technically snakes that are actually shedding their own skin in order to become 
much bigger and more sneakier snakes because they are packed with demons no matter how hard they try to conceal them they are packed round tight with demons Jezebels for the guys and the women succubuses, incubuses, narcissists and only God knows what are the demons mentioned in the gospel And it's the same with people that wear these false images like a badge of honour, thinking that that's actually in fact who they are, when it's really not. It's nothing more than a front, an act. And this is why I don't have an identity. This is why I personally do not exist. I mean, in here, and in here I exist. And in here, and in here I have an identity, but it's not of this world. Like a lot of people are being filled into believing it is. Because with people, they're wearing false images. Without even realising it. Which technically speaking means that they are also living outside of the Old Testament and New Testament. Thus making them an enemy of God and thus ultimately making them an abomination or, or toward God even assuming of course lest they really repent and reconcile their relationships with him through the son of man truth be told